But then you go on and, and you look at chapter number 12, the woman in the wilderness, you know, as, as like the nation of Israel, the devil being cast out of heaven. And in verse number, uh, verse number 11, I, I think I put uh, in chapter number 12, verse number 11, think about uh, this. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb, by the word of their testimony. They loved not their lives unto death. Think about this. In verse 9, the great dragon was cast out. That old serpent called the devil and Satan. Which did what? Deceived the whole world. He's a deceiver and accuser of the brethren. Chapter 13, the beast out of the sea, the beast out of the earth, the antichrist, the, the false prophet. Look in verse number 6 of chapter 13. Look, look at what he does. And he opened his mouth in blasphemy against God to blaspheme his name and his tabernacle and them that dwell in heaven. Blasphemies, blasphemies, blasphemies. Just let me. We don't want to play around with this stuff. I want to see if they'll get saved. Yeah. It's pretty bad. When two righteous men, the chapter before, are preaching the truth and trying to help people, and they're finally able to be killed. They've got to let their bodies rot in the streets and give some presents around. And what do you have that's in control? A blasphemer. But the Bible says, God shall send them strong delusion. They should believe a lie. That's what it says. You know, you say, you know, folks say, man, you know, I, I kind of hope that, you know, that folk, uh, man, what, what, what is that? What is that uh, heretical thing? What is that heretical thing that some movie and book Tim LaHaye huh, left behind? Oh, my friend, don't even think about it. I'm telling you, you haven't got a chance. You haven't got a chance. You're sitting here tonight, and I'm telling you, I know because I preach the gospel to each and every one of you all sitting here tonight. You have not got a chance. If you are lost here today and Jesus Christ comes back right now, you're, you're done for. You are done for. You have got a chance. You're going to be of most men and most women. That's what we do. Yeah. Well, moving right along. Amen. <laughs> and uh, chapter 14, you have the Lamb, right? You have the Lamb in chapter 14. You have the 144,000. You have the, the harpers. You have the beasts. And you have the sickles, remember? But look in verse number one. How many are there? And I looked in the little lamb, stood on Mount Zion, and with him, how many? He had lost the one, Brother Taylor. <laughs> he sealed them all, and he had lost one. And dear friend, when he seals you, he's not losing you either. He hasn't lost the one. <laughs> I just thought that was pretty nice. I like that. Then you have in chapter 15, my harpers. The harpers on the sea of glass. That fiery sea of glass. Amen. Oh, I'm looking for it. I'm serious. I'm telling you, Wesley, I hope I'm one of them. I hope I get a harp. You know, and I can just sit there and, you know, and since no sea is going to be up there, it won't matter how I do it. <laughs> Amen. And be on a sea of, of fiery glass and stuff and, Playing that, I'm serious. I sit around. I imagine that kind of stuff. I say, "Wow, wow." I mean, wow. I mean, other guys they think of you know a uh, Pink Floyd show and something. Go, wow, man. This is way beyond that. We're talking about being in glory. Oh, uh, wow. Yeah. You know, and then you also have to remember about uh, chapter 15, the judgments. Judgments, and I gave you three thoughts about them. Judgment is sure. Judgment is swift. Judgment is ceaseless. Look at verse number 6. The Bible says, for they have shed the, I'm sorry, chapter 15. It says, and the seven angels came out of the temple. Having the seven plagues clothed in what? Pure and white linen and having their breasts girded with golden pearls. Now think about this. 
these are the angels that are going to bring the final judgments of God to the earth. They come out of the temple pure and clean. Because I'm going to tell you something. The judgment of God upon a sinner is pure and clean judgment. Serious thing. Think about that. We're talking about the judgment upon my lost family, upon your lost family. It's pure. It's clean. They had the opportunity. They did with it what they would. Hopefully we tried as hard as we could as ambassadors to Jesus Christ to help them. But after that, friend, it's the judgment of God. And it's going to be pure. And it will be clean. It will be destruction and bam and torment and torture. But it is pure and clean. Yeah. Just something to think of.